you got together to set me up? No one set you up, Robin. How long have you been planning this? I called everyone after what happened with Emma. <laughs> when I found out you weren't taking your antidepressants anymore. Great. So now you're punishing me. They're all here because they love you and they want you to get well. Yeah, but I'm not a drug addict or a, a drunk. I, I don't need an intervention. <clears throat> Today, you're going to be offered an opportunity to make some changes in your life. What you do with that opportunity is up to you. But you need to understand that if you refuse to make these changes, there will be consequences. <laughs> like what? Are you going to ground me? Are you going to dump me as a friend? Drop me as a patient? Oh, divorce me? It doesn't have to come to any of that. You can listen to what these people have to say or we can skip straight to the consequences. But the way you've lived since Emma was born is over. So it's up to you. Do you want to participate in this intervention or not? Fine. Since you're all here, why don't you tell me what a horrible mother I am? I'm listening. So who's first, Patrick? Since this was your idea, why don't you tell us why we're here? One by one, I want each of you to tell Robin how much she means to you and how her recent behavior has affected your life. Okay, I guess, well, I mean, all of you know, I've admitted that I have postpartum depression and that means that I'm gonna have good days and I'm gonna have bad days, but I'm trying to build on the good ones, right, Uncle Mac? That's what we were just talking about. I think it's important to note that Robin is really trying. Thank you. Duly noted. Maxie, would you like to go first? I admire you a lot, Robin. I have since I was little. But lately, I don't really feel like I know you at all. You don't ever want to talk about Emma. You don't want to take her shopping or dress her up. And I know this is in the past, but I still don't completely understand when Emma was sick, why you insisted that I take her to Mercy with Johnny. I was really scared. And those doctors were asking me to make huge decisions, and I, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I'm not her mother. Yeah, but if you remember, Patrick was in a burning building that I was helping to evacuate at the time. I don't understand how that is more important than your child, who was really sick. Maxie, you have no idea what you're talking about. I can't believe you're sitting here in my living room calling me out on my mistakes as a mother. Robin, I'm... Just trying to tell you that I don't I mean, I have always stuck up for you, even when you do the craziest things. So for you to sit here and tell me what a horrible mother I am is just Hold ridiculous. Robin, Maxie adores you. Maxie adores Maxie. And obviously we all agree that I'm a terrible mother, but I'm not the one that was walking around with a pillow under my shirt, pretending that it was a baby for months, and then pretending to have a miscarriage. I mean, Elizabeth, how can you even be in the same room with her when she was giving your husband pills for months? That's between I, That was the only way that she could get lucky to sleep with her to begin with. Okay, Robin, that's enough. This isn't a forum for you to go after Maxie. <laughs> it's not? So I just have to sit here and listen to everyone attack me, but I don't get to fight back? Is that the way it's supposed to work? Well, sorry, but I don't think that's very fair. Get out. I don't want you here. This is not you, Robin. You would not say those things to me. I think you need help. What you said was uncalled for. Did you hear what she said to me? What I heard Maxie say to you was that you need treatment for postpartum depression, Robin. We are all here to help you get well.
You know, I raised you when Robert and Anna couldn't, and it was an honor. And I've watched you face terrible situations with grace and honor. I know how strong you are, but you're not strong enough to overcome postpartum depression alone. Robin, you need to get help. You know, you need to commit to treatment before the postpartum depression does more damage to you and the people who want to help you. Robin, we have been good friends for a long time. I miss you. I miss Jake's and taking those power walks in the park. I miss the good friend who I could always depend on to listen. The friend who saw me through some pretty dark midnights on the night shift. All mothers make mistakes. That accident today with Emma's carriage on the stairs could have happened to anyone, but it happened to you after you stopped taking your antidepressants. Refusing to take your meds was a completely irresponsible choice. You're a doctor, so I know you know better. Like your uncle said, you need to commit to treatment. If not for your friend's sake, then for Emma's. I don't know you as well as everyone else does in this room. But you were the first person to reach out to me when everyone found out that I was Patrick's brother. I, I was the best man at your wedding. I've seen how much you love Patrick and Emma, and they love you the same. And they need you to get treatment for this illness. Postpartum depression, it's, it's treatable. It's just, just get the treatment. Please. Robin, I was happy to help out when the baby came, but somewhere I crossed a line and became an enabler by being the on-call babysitter, or helping you to feel better about not holding Emma, coming up with excuses for all your, your mood swings. I was there when they crashed you into Mercy after you went into the lake. That was an accident. I'll let Elizabeth finish. We all thought you were going to die. It's a miracle that Patrick even found you in the water and got you to the hospital in time. And I really thought after that you were going to take your illness seriously, but you didn't. And then you started lying about taking your antidepressants, and that's not you, Robin. You're not a liar. This illness is robbing you of your chance to be a mother to Emma. And it is robbing Emma of the chance to know and love her mom. I know you're a good mom. And I know that you're going to do whatever it takes to give Emma the very best of yourself. I'm not sure what else to say except that I miss you and I just want my friend back. I don't know what else I can say that I haven't already said. I love you so much and understand that you're struggling with this oh I don't understand Robin is why you're not embracing help you see what it's doing to your life you see what it's what it's doing to our life and the fact that you're avoiding treatment makes me think that it all makes me think that it's more than an illness. I mean, maybe you don't want a life with me and Emma at all. No, no, that's not true. I love you so much. I, I love our daughter. I just, I get it. I get it, okay? I, I have to change. I'm gonna get back on the antidepressants and I won't skip any more sessions. 
We're past those options. You need inpatient treatment at a hospital. You want to ship me off to an institution? <laughs> That's what this is about? You're trying to get rid of me? Robin, I want you to get help. I, I want the life that we promised each other. I want my wife back.